up, Tech Nuts? Luddy here again. We finished the Centurion, more or less. We've got a few little niggly electric bits to sort out, but we did actually get the parts for them, so we're very happy about that. On the good news, uh, we, or more good news, I should say, we have a new project, which is the Meteor Engine that the owner of this tank decided that he wanted to keep us around and fix it up. So we're gonna quickly run through everything on it, what's wrong with it, and what we're gonna do to fix it. So this is our new project. It is a meteor, very much like the last time, uh, functionally identical. We do not know the history of this one though. It came in a crate, as in the lower half of the uh, wooden crate, it's the bit over there. As most crated engines do. Uh, however, this one appears to have been used and abused quite extensively. The tops, interestingly enough, still have the cosmoline on them. So cosmoline is the waxy, oily stuff that a lot of militaries put on uh, spare parts in order to preserve them, uh, especially for engines in long-term storage. So we have no idea what the internals are like because they get very happy spraying that stuff everywhere. Uh, so far though, it looks only to be on the tops. So it might have been cleaned out. We have no idea. We've only sort of peeled back that one and it seems all right. Um, but we're gonna have to go through and check it all again. It has been used and abused. Telltale sign, spark plugs are different. So these are non-genuine. Uh, they are traditional car spark plugs. On Meteor engines, they should be the aero type, which are a lot more robust, they're waterproof. Uh, they definitely don't use this sort of lead. There is nothing wrong with going non-genuine, but on a Meteor, if I'm being perfectly honest, it looks tacky. So we're gonna replace them, uh, not just because we want to, of course that is a big reason for it, but also on the other side here, the ignition lead has been crushed. Does it work? Don't know. Do I care? Not really. We're gonna get rid of it. We have a spare one. Oh, that one's not even, <laughs> that one's not even in properly. So yeah, we're gonna pull out all the spark plugs. We're gonna swap over the ignition leads to original aeronautical spark plugs. We're gonna pull the tops off. We're gonna check the head bolts because the first thing that breaks on these old engines are the head bolts on the front and the back. The middle ones never seem to go, uh, but that's why they always tend to leak. If your Centurion is leaking oil from here, um, probably got a busted head bolt. So we're gonna look at that because that's the first thing that goes. Second thing that goes are these water pumps. So we're gonna pull this one off, check it out. The diaphragms get awfully dried up and munted on the inside and they leak like a sieve from the back here. So we're not gonna take our chances on an unknown engine. We're gonna pull it off, recondition it. Uh, we do have spare parts, which is groovy. Uh, we're gonna check the magnetos. Magnetos are actually pretty bulletproof if you know what you're doing. Clean up the points, spin it up, make sure you're getting all 12 firing. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in a later video when we actually get to that. But they're pretty bulletproof, so we're not too worried about them, but they are essential. So is timing, which I'll also show. Um, we do have the original mechanical um, fuel pumps on these, but again, the diaphragms are probably shot, so we're gonna have a look at that. Uh, some of the hosing is completely perished. Get rid of that, replace it. We do have the oil filter, which yay, I guess. Although we already have, we already have a spare, including spare hoses. Uh, we do not have a generator. Sorry, we do have a generator. We have a spare one. We don't know if it works. We don't have the brackets, so we're gonna have to grab them. We know where to get them. We are also gonna have to do a bit of assembly of the uh, fan belt system. So we're gonna have to get a new um, 
piston and a new pulley assembly. Again, we know where to find them, but that's missing from the top here. We do have a second carburetor, which I will show in a second, but it is missing some parts. So again, more hunting around for that. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna pull this one apart, have a look at it and make sure it's all good. Moving on over here, we are gonna look at these spare parts. So this is all the stuff should mention all the stuff down there, all the stuff that we had left over from our last engine rebuild. So we have another oil filter if we need to. We have more pipes. Here's the two water pumps that I was talking about before. We know for a fact that this one leaks, but we can recondition it and maybe steal parts off this one, which has been opened. We have another magneto. God forbid if we need one. We've got more caps. We have... L brackets, uh, sorry, T pieces for our intake manifold. We have the old manifold down here, which broke or we found leaking. So we're gonna have to fix that one for this engine. We have a new reconditioned starter motor, which we actually reconditioned. So we know that one works, very happy about that. We have, what amounts to essentially a full second engine. So we're gonna pull parts off this one because it's not in too bad a nick in some places. Uh, that is providing the other engine is actually terrible. Hopefully we don't need it. Here are the other ignition leads that I was talking about. So these fit the aero style spark plugs. We've got a full set of them. We're gonna use them because we like them and they look good. And they're reliable. Here's the carby in there. Which I think I showed that off in a couple of videos. It is missing the float on this side. So we need that. So we're gonna have to get a new float for the carby. Uh, there looks to be some pulley stuff in there. We'll have to pull it all out again, have a look. Uh, but other than that, we're pretty sure we've got everything that we need to fix the other engine. It's gonna be a little bit of a wait though. Uh, since finishing this Centurion, we decided we're gonna have a little break. I need to go home and see the parents. I'm sure they miss me as much as I miss them. Uh, and so that'll be about a month's time or so. I will still be making stupid dumb videos on stuff and we will come back and finish the engine. We bought a lot of stuff over the uh, weekend, I should mention. Most of this is Saracen stuff, so you're probably not gonna see us working with it too much, but we got a really good price. So we're quite happy with it. This is probably my favorite box in the world. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to get it. These are all the little globes that fit in the gunnery system for Centurion. And I am so happy that I found them because they're a nightmare to, well, they're basically non-repairable. So you just got to get a whole new set. So these ones with the black on them, they fit in the traverse um, indicator in Centurion. And these are the ones that go into the clinometer when it focuses, there we go. So yeah, as soon as I saw this box, I knew I had to get it. Um, here's some of the globes for the spotlight on the front, that one there. So yeah, I'll probably do some videos with some of the stuff that I bought, which is over here. So there's a lot of gunnery stuff for Centurion in here. Again, I promised that I was gonna make a gunnery video and I absolutely will, uh, but this stuff was way too good to pass up, especially for the price. So this is a clinometer. On Centurion, it basically gives you elevation um, when it's clean. I haven't had a chance to go through any of this stuff yet. I just knew that I wanted it, but you can see the spirit level there. Um, so I'll clean them all up, maybe do a couple of videos on them, 
Uh, that's just a distributor for a B80 motor. Um, some more stuff for gunnery and more Saracen parts. So yeah, very happy with all of that. So that does it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, obviously hit like and subscribe. I'm gonna keep doing these dumb videos until people tell me to stop. Uh, everyone seems to really like doing them. Uh, so yeah, leave a nice little comment down below and we will see you on the next one. Bye.